Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Look MRI, and this is a 57-year-old male with shoulder pain. They thought they may have a labral tear, so they did an MRI arthrogram. And so in this arthrogram, this is a PD uh, sequence here, non-fat sat. Looks like a T1-weighted sequence. And we look at the labrum here. Is a superior labrum, inferior labrum. Inferior labrum does look a little funny here, so we're going to look at that in another view. And just about arthrograms in general, when I was taught in residency, they, I think we had a 22-gauge spinal needle we used, and we obliqued the patients and went towards the joint here. And over the past many, many, many years, I've been using a different technique where I'll have the patient externally rotate, and I'll put the needle maybe right above the subscap here, uh, right about here. So I aim right in this area here, just above the subscap, and below the biceps. Here's the biceps coming over the top. And there's a subscap there, so a really narrow little area, but somewhere in this area uh, near the top of the subscap, sometimes I hit it, um, I'd like to be near the top. And you go straight in, about right here. And instead of using that spinal needle, which is pretty big, you just use the 25 gauge numbing needle. Just If they're small, just keep on going in with that same numbing needle. They have very little symptoms. And uh, we have longer needles too, in case they're a little bit bigger, then we use a 25 gauge longer needle. But if you go absolutely straight in right here, it works nearly 100 percent of the time before they used to go down low and angle and and there was a significant number of times where um, it, it didn't go in and it was always very frustrating and then once i tried this it started working and uh, a lot of our friends now do it this way and uh, i think it's a very good way if you don't already do it like this so straight in and use a really skinny needle 25 gauge needle go down till you touch the bone and uh, very very straightforward it seems to work every time famous last words now this is the coronal t1 sequence here and you think this would be more sensitive, but really I can't see the labral tear here. It looks pretty doggone good on this view. Here's PD fat sat, and actually you can see a little trail of brightness here. This is the inferior labrum, superior labrum. So this looks suspect down here. And we do have an AB, ER image, a bear image where the arm is abducted and externally rotated. And that's very helpful to see the inferior labrum especially. So this is a scat where you can see how they put their arm outward and externally rotated, abducted, and now we'll put up the a bear sequence here. It's a little bit confusing to get your bearing straight, but generally this is the bottom of the joint over here. And if we move towards coracoid process here, this is towards the front. And here's the, again the anterior V over here, anterior. And then we start going towards the inferior. Here's probably the inferior labrum, but it can be hard to tell. Rotator cuff, supraspinatus this is up in this area. But I usually use it to see the inferior labrum especially. So the joint capsule is stretched out now and it's tugged away, and if they have a labral tear along the inferior part, it'll pull the capsule labral complex off, and the labral tear will be better seen. And this is a great example of, of that on the uh, arms in the neutral position. You really couldn't see this very well, but now you can see a little fluid-filled gap right here. You can see a fluid-filled gap right here, 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 here. And this tear goes all the way through the anterior labrum and all the way through the inferior labrum. And this is it right here. You see the fluid and it looks like it's detached and pulled away just a little bit on some of these images. So a tear that's really easily seen, a significant tear on the a bear images and you really don't see it very well on the um, non a bear images. The, it sits right back in place and uh, no contrast is in there on this. So shows you how really important a bear images are. So that's it, and uh, thank you very much.